I have installed the hammer hanging attachment on the sliding top of the squaring platform. Um, basically, the studs that hold the sliding top on anyway uh, act as the fasteners for the tabs of the hammer hanging attachment. And I extend Uh, the sliding top of the squaring platform out underneath the hammers and I bring it back so that the insides of the tails just touch. So the inside of this rail becomes the tail stop. This is the shoulder guide. I extend it out to just touch the um, back side of the hammers. Now these are the hammers, these hammers should be set up at strike. And uh, this support supports, the, supports them by their shanks. Um, and the regulating rack provides the information for strike. Um, I haven't done that here, just for demonstration. Um, I'm taking it as it comes. So uh, the shoulder uh, guide is adjusted to just touch at the back of the shoulders. The tail stop is uh, in place as as we brought it in and adjusted it. Now for the high treble there tends to be a problem of clearance where these shanks collide with the shoulder guide and or come close enough to deposit glue on them. So to um, solve that problem, I have stops which allow you to just back off the shoulder guide, put your glue on, put your hammer head on, bring it down, pull up your shoulder guide and press the tail in place in that direction and the hammer in place in that direction. And actually this is a this is a nice way to work in general, uh, but I only employ the stops in the high treble. So I'll just show you. It goes from section to section. You have to set up the strike for each of the custom um, measured sections. And when you're done with one, you go into the next simply by sliding the sliding top down the squaring platform. And I'm going to slide it, uh, say, to this middle section. So I would let my sample hammers down. I would bring the sliding top back to just contact the heels. And a, a test for that is that they tap and don't catch. You can hear how that's catching. That would be too tight. And then I bring the shoulder guide up to the back shoulders of the hammers, and I'm ready to hang that set. Okay, that ends this section. I'm now going to dry fit the base section of hammers, and I'll proceed to glue section by section uh, the hammers on.